I saw a surgeon yesterday and he said he sent me to get an MRI. Of course, my cobalt and chromium levels aren't that high, only 2.8, which is, you know, nothing like the huge numbers that a lot of people with these hips get. Um, he said maybe the hip replacement wasn't the right surgery and didn't combat what was really wrong so you didn't get much pain relief from it because it wasn't the right surgery so he sent me for an MRI and I see on it what appears to me to be very similar to the pseudo tumors that a lot of people mention oh. and the radiologist mentioned one fluid filled sac uh, did not call it a pseudo tumor I don't know if the radiologists do but it was the shortest MRI report I've ever seen and I've seen plenty so I called the doctor who said he might review my records and uh, told him hey the the MRI is done you should have access to it so I got the kidney analysis done today I went in and got blood work again to check for lymphocyte elevation Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you next week. All right. Hi. How much do I owe you? 40 bucks? Thank you. Oh, I do need a receipt. What? Yeah. Ain't nothing free in the medical world. <laughs> Thank you. And basically what happens with some people is that uh, your body doesn't like metal. It's a hypersensitivity and nobody's tested me for it, which I wish somebody would, but it looks like I'm going to have to lead that train. Um, there's very specific tests for an, uh, it's kind of a immune response to a foreign body or a, uh, an, an allergic reaction, but slightly different. It's not as cut and dry as that. So um, I'm going to try to find somebody who will order me that test to see if I have an abnormal response to cobalt, chromium, nickel, molybdenum, <laughs> one I can't say, and hope for the best. So yesterday I spent about $700 and basically they said we think we see about one sack of fluid that that's what typically is the pseudo tumor. Your body encapsulates the metal debris and the metal particles to try to, I guess, protect you from it or kill it or whatever. But what ends up happening is that pseudo tumor instead damages your tendons, ligaments, muscles, and bone, depending on where it is. It's not that I fear having hip replacement again, it's that I fear that they're never going to be able to figure out what's wrong and I'm going to have to just slowly let this stuff uh, eat away at me and that's quite troubling. 